Hey, what's up garden friends? We've got something really cute to plant up today. I'm gonna do a Halloween planter. I got this from a local antique mall. I had seen these for sale over the years, just never bothered buying them because they were so expensive, but it was like $15. So it's like, I gotta get this. I have to get this, plant it up, make it really Halloween-y or just fallish. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I have a lot of plants to choose from. That's what's happening there. I did drill a hole in this though. I don't know, I can't really, I can show you from here. <laughs> the Unfortunately, the only areas I could drill the hole in. It's kind of, I don't know, maybe doesn't seem that appropriate, but something had to give, have to have drainage in here. I just prefer my pots to always have drainage. So that's done. And I'm going to go through, I have a lot of plants to choose from. I'm going to pick some various things out and I'm really going to be cramming this thing full. Here we go. I have everything laid out. Am I going to be able to fit all of these in here? Probably not, but you know, I'm going to try. I did also have these hanging baskets. That looks pretty cute. That cute vinca with that dichondra silver falls in there. This vinca is very unique. The flowers are very Halloween-y and I really like them, but uh, I don't know. It's just a little bit too simple. Although it's actually starting to grow on me. Oh, darn it. Well, no, I'm gonna put an arrangement in here, though that does look cute. You don't have to get complicated with these things, but welcome to my channel. I gotta complicate everything a little bit sometimes. Okay, so I'm just gonna work my way from the back to the front with the taller to the smaller and do things that way, making sure to loosen up the root memories if they're too tight and gonna see what I can fit in here. And done. Got everything in there except for just a couple plants. I'm not too worried about this being overcrowded because they're not going to grow much this time of year. So it's really just mentally cute for like the next month or so. And right, real quick, go ahead and talk about what's in here. In the back, the taller guy that's all the way back here, that's an ornamental millet and the variety is called Purple Baron. As those mature, little white seeds will start to pop out and adds a lot of texture. And then next to that millet is a celosia. This variety is called First Flame Orange. I want to be sure to have something with some orange in there just to kind of tie back the fact that it's a pumpkin with the orange and the fall colors. Wanted to mix those all together. And just below there is a zinnia. This variety is just called Magellan Yellow. Just bright, cheery, happy yellow flowers. And this is a fall planter, so of course, have a couple of ornamental cabbages in here. They were just assorted. I don't know the name of the variety. I'm sorry. Trilling over the front, a couple of lemon ball sedums. One right here and another one over there. And then in between those sedums is a calabracoa. The variety is called Pumpkin Spice or Caltastic pumpkin spice, I believe. They don't have a ton of flowers on them right now, so it's hard to really show off the color, but that'll be posted up on Instagram. You'll be able to see them there. And then in the center is a chili, chili, chili pepper, or an ornamental pepper, really. Has lots of various colors mixed in there. It reminds me of like candy corn a little bit, more so when it's just on the orange and yellow spectrum, that is. But the colors of the peppers will change as the season progress. And over here on the side, kind of like a weird little chunk of wispy hair coming out of there. That's an ornamental pepper also, and the variety is called sangria. You can see the sangria has red and purple peppers on it, and it grows almost like a trailer. It's more of a spreading pepper than an upright pepper. And as full as this planter is, I really wish I had another one, so there'd be another crazy wisp of peppers coming out the other side. If I see more, I'll pick one up and kind of even that out a little bit. Okay, uh, change of plans. No, all right, it's, this is confusing. It's gonna take some explanation. Even though this is in the middle of the video, it's actually been a few days since I finished filming this video and I've been by the nursery and they had these purple peppers. And I think that they are absolutely perfect to go ahead and put in place of this other pepper that I have trailing out the side. Then there'll be like purple wispies coming out of each side. The problem here though is the video is already done. So maybe I'll just like superimpose an image over the rest of it since the planter I'm gonna be talking about and the rest of this video is not gonna be the one that being shot. You know what? I'm just, I'm gonna make it pretty and we're gonna make it work. That, that's all there is to it. Okay, that's adorable. I am loving how that looks. This is also an ornamental pepper. The variety is called Purple Flash. I don't have a ton of information on it other than that it has purple variegated leaves little bitty red peppers in there and it's more of a spiller. I like that there's now symmetry on both sides. The plants aren't perfectly even, but they were the two closest matching ones I could find. Actually a little hard to see it because that Persian shield behind them. Maybe I'll rotate things a little bit. Oh, nope, can't do that because then I can't impose this over the other video. I may not even be able to do that anyways. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to the rest of the video, but just know that I did switch this out and it's, it's gonna make the rest of everything really wonky and crazy, but it's just, I think, this looks much better. I like the purple. I wanted the top. I just wanted it to be kind of chaotic and crazy and colorful, and that's definitely what's going on here. So now, get back to talking about the rest of the plants that are in here, and it may or may not look like this, or it might be a different video. I, I have no idea, but that's, there we go. But that's it. Everything that's in here is a full sun-loving plant. Uh, some more drought-tolerant than others. 
particularly like the sedum that is. I love the textures from the celosia and the contrast you get with the chili peppers and it's just it's just cute. It's really all there is to it. I will be sure to go ahead and make sure to keep the sedum and the calabrac kind of trimmed off of his eyes a little bit. But as I mentioned before, this time of year, it's mid-September right now. Hopefully this video will be out a week from now, so it'll be like late September. And uh, at, at that point, these aren't really going to be doing much anyway, so I think everything's fine, kind of crammed in here and squished together. I like it. It works for me. Though, uh, yeah, those cabbages, they're going to want to take off with the cooler weather, and that's all right. So notice that Calabrax and Petcoas both really do well for me when the temperatures at nighttime start to cool a little bit, so that might get to be a bit extreme for having in the center. I don't know. I'll play around with it if I need to. Overall, it's just fun. That's all I was going for. Just kind of fun to throw plants in the top of a pumpkin head. Could do this exact same arrangement, all types of different variations, in a whiskey barrel or one of those plastic cauldrons you pick up from like a party supply store. That would look really neat too. Now this is what I got and I like it. It's going to be a few weeks until I actually move this out to my front porch area. Somebody had mentioned before, a few people had mentioned before, that they would like for me to show myself setting the planters out. The problem is I've been doing these fall planters so early that I'm not I'm not setting them out yet. It's still going to be a week or so until I'm putting them out. That's partially because of the heat with the kales and the cabbages and whatnot. They're going to bolt if I put them where they're going to go in full sun. So I've had to keep them in part sun and kind of like spray them occasionally and keep them wet and cool to keep them from taking off. Yeah, anyways, that's all. That's going to do it. Thanks for hanging out while I plant up my pumpkin head. Jack-o'-lantern head. Potato, potato. Oh, he's so cute. I could even have just done the lemon ball all the way across, and I think that would have been cute on its own. Oh, that was a really pretty bird sound. I think that may have been a cardinal. Anyways, I have another planter that's fairly similar to this I'm going to do that's much smaller, and uh, that'll probably come out soon after this one. I'm not really sure. Okay, shutting up now. I hope everybody's doing well. All my social media is posted down below, down there in the roots of the video. Follow me and I'll follow you back. I love seeing everybody's pictures. Don't forget to leave the video a thumbs up. It helps so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you so, so much. Oh, and comment down below. I love talking to everybody and hearing from everybody. Think of some suggestions, some fun things you could do on the top of a pumpkin head. There's a literal bird fight going on behind me and I can't, they're moving too fast to get them on video. Otherwise I'd be showing you. Oh my goodness, calm down. I think it's the tortoise. Sometimes birds freak out when they see the tortoise moving around. I can kind of understand. I think they're like, why is that rock moving? Okay. As I was saying, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well because I upload multiple times a week. Did I say upload? I upload multiple times a week. And as always, everybody, most importantly, keep on growing. Bye.